your approach to the season change at all going forward after the first loss or no? Um, no, I mean, I, I, I don't think you, you know, like I said to you before, you know, you're never too high, you're never too low. I, I think that in my 22 years, you stay on course, you, you keep grinding, you keep getting better every opportunity we can, and that's the focus now. Obviously, the takeaways from Georgetown hurt a little bit more um, than they did from Duke, but, uh, you know, just moving forward, we're, we're going to continue to climb and uh, give uh, Richmond everything we got. Um, looking ahead past Richmond, Big 12 play starts next week, and you guys are obviously been the preseason favorites, won the conference championship the last four years since you've been in the league. Mm -hmm. Uh, what are you looking for from Big 12 play this year? What do you expect? Yeah, I mean, everybody's winning in the Big 12, which is so important. And the success of the Big 12 and everything we're doing out of conference is very important. And I know in our coaches' meetings, you know, we, we, we value our RPI and our strengths of schedule. So I know going into that Baylor game, it's going to be uh, very difficult because they're having a great non-conference schedule so far. Do you think the Big 12 might be stronger this year than it has been in past years? Because I think TCU is undefeated. Oklahoma is uh, just on the edge of the top 25. So Texas Tech. Yeah. Is that yeah. I mean, I, I definitely think that uh, you know you got to look at Iowa State right now too. I mean, Iowa State's having a great year. So where Iowa State might have been at the bottom, uh, they're they're fierce right now. So I do think. You know, looking at TCU that's undefeated, OU's having a great season. Their losses are to Virginia, and I don't even know who else. So, yeah, I think Texas is going to be another opponent that's going to cause problems. But the parity in the Big 12 has always been um, something that we know is going to be difficult, and uh, especially this year. You guys are kind of right at the midpoint of the season. You've had nine games, and you have nine games left. Uh, how would you evaluate how the season has gone so far? Um, you know, I, I mean... Any coach would tell you they're crazy if they're not pleased with the wins we have. Uh, you talk to me, I'm never satisfied, so I'm a little bit different in that, in that regard. I, I, I think that we, we've done some really good things, especially with the moving parts that we've had. Um, we are not in a place where um, I'd say we've peaked, and that's good, but uh, we are just going to keep getting better every day. You know, we've we've seen some areas that we needed to improve on, and my biggest thing for this group is to make sure that the things we're seeing in tape don't keep showing up. So for me right now, I just want to make sure that when we talk uh, collectively that we have things cleaned up, and uh, we're almost there. And you said you mentioned some of the takeaways from the Georgetown game. What are some things that you – you know, saw from the tapes you saw out of them that you know that you need to clean up moving forward from that game? Well, we have to finish um, opportunities three yards out inside uh, the 18. So that's something that we just missed opportunities. And that's been a common uh, theme with us since day one, that the missed opportunities uh, can come back and haunt you. And that's exactly what that is. And I know that the players that miss those opportunities were a little bit more focused yesterday and will continue to be today. And now you may have got the first loss, but the, you won the uh, game earlier in the week before that. Just your overall thoughts on the performance last week from the team. Yeah, I mean, the Princeton game, I, I thought we were, uh, you know, we were we, we played with, with a whole lot of emotion. Again, we had a couple of other opportunities that I wish we, we finished, but I thought Friday we played very well and um, definitely did enough to win and, and make a great Princeton team um, not look so good. Uh, you know, we turned around on Sunday, and I thought we played well. Uh, we just missed those opportunities, and it came back and, and beat us.